Hello everyone, today in our series of Docflix SQL interviews, we are honored to have with us Dr. Kalyan Bhattacharya, who is the Professor and Head of the Department of Neuromedicine at Arjikal Medical College, Kolkata. Dr. Bhattacharya has served as a President of Association of Neuroscientists of Eastern India in 2014-2015. An eminent researcher in Parkinsonism, Dr. Bhattacharya has been associated with several global neurological societies and has over 100 publications in peer-reviewed journals and authored several books. Thank you so much, Dr. Kalyan, for joining us today for this interview. Thank you. So, Dr. Bhattacharya, you have authored and presented a paper on ethnic variations in the manifestations of Parkinson's disease. Can you please share your findings of this paper or your experience regarding this? Well, ethnicity is a very important factor in the genesis of any disease because the genes modify to a large extent uh, the manifestation of a disease. The two most important factors which determine the outcome of a disease in a human being. One, the genetics, and the other, the environment. Now, it has been observed that patients of Parkinson's disease, say in India or in the United Kingdom, have certain differences. Differences in terms of their presentation, differences in terms of their response to treatment, and very interestingly, people who are born in India but have migrated to the United Kingdom at a young age, if they develop Parkinsonism, they tend to show a third variety of the disease, which is known as xenobiosis, where the environment is modifying the genetics. Certain things like Indian patients tolerate the drugs, the medicines, poorly compared to the Western world. High dose of the, the gold standard medicine which we use, liver dopa, is not tolerated well by our people. And dementia, you know, forgetfulness, these problems, depression, these are much higher in the Western world than here. Then the issue of diabetes and hypertension as other comorbid factors, again less in India. Then there are two types of Parkinson's actually. One is where you get the tremor, the shaking, which is called tremor dominant variety. And the other one is where the patient is very stiff, rigid, very rigid. Again here, tremor dominant variety is more common in India, but in the Western world, the rigid variety is more common and that is much more troublesome. In terms of the complications produced by the drugs, the, again there is a quite a but a significant difference in the nature and the percentage. So these are the differences. So you've also done a lot of uh, work in movement disorders. So what are the key questions for a systematic approach to differential diagnosis of movement disorders? Movement disorders is a huge subject. There are plenty of disorders which you have to deal with. In some disorders, the movement is the usual body movement is highly reduced, which happens in Parkinson's disease. In another group of disorders, some abnormal movements, involuntary movements appear, like a tremor, like a dystonia, the body is kind of a spasm, a part of the body goes. So it all depends. So you have also been associated with various neurological societies for a very long time. So can you please narrate few of your experience working at the government, Governing Council of Parkinson's Disease and other movement disorder societies in India? Yes, actually this PDMDS, Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Society, it's the brainchild of Professor Beam Singhal from Bombay. Uh, who doesn't know him? He's an extraordinarily energetic, kind, uh, a tremendous human being. When he started it, very lovingly he called me to be a founding member, which I am till now. So, sir, do you think an online platform of doctors like Docplexus can help doctors uh, gain medical information? Oh, certainly. Why not? 
Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today Thank and for you. sharing your valuable time Thank with you. us. Thank you. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy dog flexing!